So, yeah, I did know um, Steve-O back way before he was famous. I would say he was probably about around 20. He was very young when I met him. Um, so in case you don't know who Steve-O is, it's this guy who used to do a series on MTV called Jackass. And since then, he's done a few other things. I think currently, I believe he's he was doing uh, comedy tours last year. Um, so yeah, I mean, if he ever made it makes it to my town, I'd probably definitely stop in and say hello. But no, I haven't spoke with him since way back before he was even famous. So the way I met him was at the time, I was kind of like into gay porn. Like I like to watch guy, like gay guy porn. And my uh, then then boyfriend was, um, he was a gay porn actor. And I was always watching his videos and other gay guy videos. And one day I mentioned something to him. Um, I said, you know this sandy blue guy? I said, I think he's so cute. And he's like, oh, I know that guy. So apparently he knew the agent, the porn agent of uh, that guy, because back then he was known as, his name was Sandy Blue, um, which he is now known as Steve-O. But um, yeah, I used to watch Sandy Blue or Steve-O's porns. Um, back then he was very, very young and he dyed his hair blonde. And in his, uh, his porns, I, I thought he was just so cute. And I told my boyfriend that I wanted to meet him. So he got a hold of him and we met. So it's weird because like, I was so like attracted to him, like watching his videos, but then in person, there wasn't like that chemistry or something. There was like really no real chemistry, but I thought, okay, well, maybe if I, I have him sleep with my boyfriend, I'll be more attracted to him. So he spent the night one night and I, I told him he, he needed to sleep. I told Sandy, to sleep in my bed when he was going to sleep with my boyfriend that night. So no, nothing ever happened. Yeah, they slept in the same bed, but no, they never did anything. And I don't know. I think it's because Sandy's not, wasn't bi and my boyfriend liked um, like muscular type guys. He wasn't into the boy type like I was. Because um, he was like the boy type, and Sandy was the boy type, and everyone was the boy type, and that's what I liked. So, no, they never did anything, but they did sleep in the same bed. Uh, unfortunately, I never got attracted to Sandy in that way. Like, I never had sex with him. And, but we did do, um, we were very good friends. We did do some things, uh, modeling things together, nude modeling together. And we were friends and I went to his place with my boyfriend one time and it was a trailer. He was renting a room or something in some trailer park. He was very, very poor. I had no idea he was looking for fame and fortune. None at all. I just knew him as Sandy Blue and he did solo porn um, by himself. And I don't know, I guess he must have had connections somewhere. But hey, Sandy, if you're out there, here I am. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry, I'm still not attracted to you in that way, but I think you'd maybe be a nice friend. Maybe, I don't know. Isn't life strange? It seems like another world, seems crazy, but yeah. Take care.